Hello and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC. I'm here on Vanilla FM. We've been quite a long time actually since we've recorded one. But um, since the news that the new version is coming out in November, I thought I'd um, come back and carry on with the save. I've been quite busy, so that's why um, I've not been recording much. But I thought I'd come back and take a look at this Hereford save again and see where we are. Actually, just give you some context before we dip into this next match. Um, we are currently in Skypet League 1. Um, I can't quite remember what's gone on before it, to be completely honest with you, but I had a quick look at the club history. And we've just been promoted to this league. We are currently in 16th, I think. Yeah, 16th, so not too bad. We are one match behind and already seven points ahead so this is looking pretty good um as part of the save as well i'm also um managing northern ireland that's like there isn't much going on at the moment we came second of the group um literally just because we uh, lost the game against montenegro we had a bigger goal difference and same points so that was a little bit unfortunate but montenegro carry on and we stay behind as far as the club, Hereford, it is going okay, I think. A lot better than expected. Finances are an issue. We are in need of some investment. Um, yeah, let's just continue. Let's select this team here and carry on with the next match. And then we'll talk through some things as we go along. So I'm going to have to take him out and put McKenzie on take him out and put uh, Macaulay on uh, he's been promised some some, some uh, playing time so I'm going to keep him on same thing with um, this um, left defender here uh, Juho is coming on here I'm going to put actually I'm going to keep uh, Martin in Chadwick um, He should be okay. Yeah, I just come will come back. I Had a few matches back-to-back -back, so I had to play some of the backup players To give the team a bit of a rest and we still won the match. So that was okay And then for here, I'm gonna keep Pope on okay Actually since I'm talking about the previous matches. Let's look at the calendar if I could find it, schedule. Um, so the uh, the previous few matches, we won against Doncaster for the FA Cup and against Bournemouth in the 23s for the Papa John's Trophy. Drew against Birabera, which are actually near the top of the league, and we won against um, Arkington. So next, Rothdale. And they are 15th, so one place ahead of us. And after that, we're going to play for the Papa John's knockout round against Linton Orient uh, from League 2. So let's just go ahead and play this match. Like the next version of the game has been announced for, I think, November the 6th. And there'll usually be a beta before. I've pre-ordered it. And... Um, um, yeah, so as soon as the beta drops, I will be exploring it and showing some off to some new features. Don't really know what to expect. They haven't really announced features yet, so I guess we'll just have to wait for the beta. But if you got any suggestions or ideas of what might be included in the game, I'll leave it in the comments and we'll uh, explore those in the next few episodes. I'm going to try to record at least two or three episodes of this save before the beta drops. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not sure what I would want as far as features for the for the next game. Um, they've recently revamped scouting, so I don't think they will do that again and transfers and stuff like that. Um, they haven't done anything with training recently. They changed it a few years ago, but recently it's not, nothing's been updated, I don't think. So maybe we'll see some changes in training. Um, 
Mm, I can't see them doing anything else with social. Although that's been requested quite a bit. Um, and actually from the video, from the trailer, it might indicate that we might be able to push out some social headlights, headlines, I mean. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Da, da, da. I'm gonna carry on for now. Yes, yeah, so I'm not really sure. Maybe something to do with social headlines. Um, well, social interaction, maybe. But that's not really football related, so I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Nicely done there. Okay, I'm gonna make a sub here. Um, I didn't pick subs, did I? I just realized when I did the um, main team, I didn't look at the bench to see what, who we have. Oh well. Hopefully we have enough people for what we need. That was good. Good play. Some really good movements there into space. Nicely done. So I know I haven't posted in maybe two or three months now. I don't tend to do that in the summer because I've got other things to do in the summer that I need to get on with. But now that the winter's coming, I have a bit more time to spend indoors and do things like this. So I'll post a few more episodes between now and the release of the beta. done. First goal of the season for Stephen Bradley. Now a lot of these players, uh, you'll have to go back and watch the other episodes to see where they come from and how come we have this squad. Um, what I'll do as well, the next episode, I will um, time that so it's around February, so we'll have maybe some transfers happening in the winter transfer window and we'll go through the squad again because obviously I have forgotten for the majority of the squad to be completely honest with you and um, if you've not been watching recently as I've not been releasing any videos then you probably won't remember where all these players come from so yeah so the next episode we will come back and look at any changes we've made in the transfer window in winter but yeah, so this is a really, really quick episode just to touch base with you again and let you know that I'm going to be recording a few more episodes between now and the release of the beta FM 2023, 2024, I can't remember, the next version. Anyway, thanks so much for, so much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.